Oh boy. It's another one of these stories that I have to talk about. Now, granted, this is one of the few videos I do. I don't know why my me's happy, because this is kind of a stupid story. Um, this is not a gaming-related story, not even in the slightest, but it's one of those things where you kind of got to just talk about it, you know, because it's one of those stupid fucking things. Um, so, and it's... <laughs> you're going to see the story, and you're going to be like, what? What the fuck? Is that real? But let me just show you. And this, of course, like all these other videos I've done, was in the States. In Florida, I believe. So, yeah, that's right. Drop that plate right now. Florida police arrested a 90-year-old man for feeding the homeless people in public. Just let that sink in. Just let that sink in arrested and the actual charge that the police gave him was for feeding the homeless in public how ridiculous is that absolutely positively ridiculous and here's a picture of him there's the 90 year old dude <sighs> Let me read you this here. A 90-year-old man and two Christian ministers, which I don't want to talk about the Christian crap, uh, were arrested earlier this week for violating a city ordinance, meaning a city law, that dramatically restricts public feeding of the homeless. That's right, they in Florida put a law in effect that you cannot feed, I don't know if it specifically says public or uh, homeless, but that's basically saying you can't feed strangers in public. Really? How stupid are people? And this really does not help the case where I always am saying, you know, like, oh, Americans, I hate them, they're stupid, blah, blah, blah. And granted, I know I've said before, yes, there's some, a few good ones, but this just goes to show you that once again, they're stupid fucking Americans. But that's not the point. I don't want to get into a whole American thing with this. One of the police officers said, drop that plate right now, as if I were carrying a weapon. Arnold Abbott, which is the 90-year-old, said, he's the founder of the homeless charity Love Thy Neighbor. And he told people that the police, or the one officer, shouted, drop that plate right now. Just picture that. You're holding a plate, and a police officer yells at you to put down that plate right now. Can you really not think that that police officer was on drugs or something? Like, that makes no fucking sense at all. <sighs> but all three of these people faced up to 60 days in jail with a fine uh, of $500. Now, this, I don't even know where to, to, tar uh, to, start, to start. This is such a stupid story. How far, like, cops don't do a damn thing useful anymore. They just don't. I forget if I did a video on it, but there was a story from, like, I don't even remember if it was this year or if it was last year now, but in the States where these police killed a dog, they shot him. There was a video of it even on YouTube because it was uh, aggressive and attacking him, and the dog literally laid down on the ground and was fully compliant, and they still shot it. And it's just like, really, cops are fucking useless these days. It's like there's, if there's no fucking major crime, then they have to go make one up, or they have to go uh, stretch the truth, and just because they they have a badge, they can get away with it. And I mean, yeah, you might say it's just 60 days in jail, but at the same time, I think this guy actually won his case here against them or whatever, but it's so ridiculously stupid. Feeding strangers gets you arrested. Who in their right mind came up with that law? I don't fucking know. I don't think anyone does. But it's basically arrested for feeding people in public strangers, you know, or feeding strangers in public. That's like, you know, oh, better arrest every parent in the United States who has a birthday party for their kid and buys pizza and gives it to the kid's friends, because those are strangers, aren't they? Huh? You don't personally know them that well. So, I mean, it's... Let's go to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, that's feeding people let's have a picnic oh that's out in public let's arrest them like seriously and this is only in florida but still 
<sighs> and why? I mean, arresting a 90-year-old. Not that your age should make you not be able to get arrested, but... I mean, thinking a plate is a weapon, really? <sighs> people are fucking stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. If people want to help the homeless, that's a choice. There's... I don't see the problem. You're literally... It's the whole thing between you, the person helping, and the homeless guy in front of you that you're giving food to. Now, don't think of me as the type that, you know, does charity work and food kitchen, because that's not me. I respect people who, like this guy, you know, help out those who can use it. I, myself, am not a, you know, I don't go do charities and all that stuff, but no human being, especially like a homeless person, deserves to be treated like garbage. Now, granted, there are some homeless people who are, you know, like drug addicts and they only have themselves to blame because they did drugs in the first place and whatever, and then that's how they ended up homeless and whatever, and, and no money and anything. But the people who, you know, legitimately fell on hard times, had to lose their house, or, or like sold their house, or lost their house, or, or whatever, you don't treat humanity that bad. And that just goes to show how corrupt the human race is, you know? It's showing that people care more about doing their damn job as a cop and it's almost like they have a quota to arrest a certain amount of people a day and it's like you'd rather arrest someone for the most ludicrous reason possible than see a human being help out other human beings that are you know in a less uh, good situation you know and it's, it's things like that which make me just shake my head and I'm just like this is why the human race disgusts me. Well, it's one of the reasons, anyway. And it's just like, you really lose a lot of faith in humanity. You're like, really? Arresting a 90-year-old for feeding a homeless p person in public, really? It's his choice, dude. He's not hurting anyone. And I know some people might say, well, like, oh, it's kind of like, uh, feeding the pigeons. You don't want to do that because all the animals will gather there and whatever, and it, it's a burden. It's homeless people. If they're not the crazy ones, you know, the ones who've lost their mind, if they're, like, just average Joe homeless people, they're not going to be a problem. And you're punishing a guy because he was being nice. That's legitimately what it comes down to. And I was reading in a comment, someone said a sentence like, uh, what was it? No good deed goes unpunished. Something like that. So, <laughs> it's basically... Do a good do a good deed and get punished. <sighs> I don't know what else to say. I mean, I really don't. I think the guy. I'm pretty sure the guy won his case, but it's just <sighs> I don't know. You really doubt humanity when things like this happen, and I really hope no other place has this law and again i don't know who made it i don't know how they managed to get it passed but it's like the city is literally i know it's a very tourist heavy place and they don't want people coming there and oh look at all the homeless people maybe if you actually dealt with your problem and helped them then you wouldn't need to resort to being a slimy filthy snake that's even worse garbage that the, than the homeless that you think are garbage I mean, seriously, nobody deserves to just be treated like crap like that and just ignored. And basically, you're like saying, no, no helping those people that are, you know, needing assistance. You have to let them die off. You have to let them, you know, starve to death. That's what you're basically saying. And it's just stupid. It's just <sighs> fucking politics, man. Like, seriously, anyone who gets in politics, even the people who say like, oh, I'm going to do something good. You're just going to be a puppet. People higher up the food chain on you, or then you are just gonna frickin' force you to do shit, and mute- or not mutate, um, manipulate you, and you're never gonna bring any change. Corruption is what's gonna ruin- not ruin, well, yeah, ruin and rule the world, and it already does. Now granted, normally I like corruption and everything, and I like negativity and whatnot, but- but this is just- this is just- you don't do this. I don't know. I don't need to say much of anything else, I just wanted to share the story, you know, 
get the word out there, make sure, and I originally I forgot to mention that I'd seen this story was talked about from uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Alpha Omega Sin, who, he's very open-minded, or not open-minded, outspoken like myself. Well, yeah, he's probably open-minded too, but, uh, and I heard him talking about it, I watched his video, so I was like, you know what, I gotta do a video like this, I wanna talk about this too, cause you gotta, you know, you gotta talk about stuff like this and get, get the word out. So, that's all I gotta say, disgusting, absolutely pathetic, police are fucking useless, like always. Ah, <sighs> but more of these stories will probably happen at some point. I wouldn't be surprised if we got another one by the end of the year. Anyway, you know the drill. I'm Original Blood Ace. Stay tuned, more videos coming soon, as always.